As promised, Hearn met the Bard atop the tower. If the Bard wished the flame of the tower extinguished, he would first have to extinguish the life of its guardian. You may have made it this far, but your journey ends here. Prepare to die. Die? <laughs> I've got too much to live for. But an old weed like yourself wouldn't understand such things. Time to do a little gardening, I think. I will end your folly here, Bard. Cracking! I knew you wouldn't let me down. I bet you'd have said that to any other guy. Had any lived to make it this far. The others paled in comparison to you. Looks like most of them were impaled, actually. Yet you survived the journey up the tower. Yeah, but I have a few choice words for the gardener. Stay valiant, my love. You need now go to the second tower, which you can reach by taking a dangerous and peril-filled journey through the mountains. I don't suppose you have a map. Oh, if only I did. You will need to go back to Kirkwall and see Bove. Does the term vicious circle mean anything to you? He's waiting for you and will guide you through the mountains. A different instrument is needed to enter the mountain tower. Bove knows of its location and can help you obtain it on your way through. Be certain to take the spirit stone of Han. His power will now be added to your own. You better be damn rich, that's all I can say. More than you will be able to spend in your lifetime, my love. But you must hurry. The next torch must be put out soon. Speaking of putting out... Hurry, my champion! I hate it when she does that. The Bard had no time for rest, for the danger of this tower had not yet passed. 